Hey guys, Justin here. I'm up on Mount Rogers and the topic I'd like to talk to you about today is playfulness. Um, this topic is inspired by an article I read a while ago titled, Why do Finland have the best schools? Pretty random, right? Finland. <laughs> and in the article, it was basically a Harvard business professor saying that we should learn from Finland. Finland have the most effective schooling system. And the gist of the article was, children's, the children's work is to play. Children learn best through play. And I thought about it, and it kind of makes sense, right? Because if you've ever seen in the wild, perhaps, like a nature documentary, uh, you'll see like a tiger cub or like a lion cub sneak up on its brother and it'll like pounce on it and tackle it and like pull it over. And they're playing, but in reality, they're actually learning how to hunt, a very serious sort of adult life skill. Play, it seems, is never far from their mind. It's good for practicing hunting skills. And it's also a lot of fun. This is something my mentor teacher would do a lot at Campbell High School during my 30 day practical, Philip Ladomirsky. And he would be, he would incorporate playfulness a lot into his teaching. So for example, if a student came up to him with an assignment or a test, instead of just being like, oh that's wrong, that's right, he would be like, oh, are you sure about that? Oh, okay, if that's what you think. <laughs> you know, he'd do something silly like that. And this would this was extremely effective because straight away it'd get the students sort of engaged. They'd be switched on. They're like, "Oh, what does he mean? Is he being serious?" And they would sort of think, uh, "What was my answer? What what could I have done better, maybe?" And they'd start sort of thinking about it. So I was reading a book titled "The Archaeology of the Mind," and it was saying in the book that mammals have a certain section of the brain that is dedicated just for playing, and that if they're deprived from playing then that can cause serious mental health issues. So it's important to understand that students probably don't take things very seriously. Um, I remember when I was a student, I didn't take anything seriously. I actually remember thinking it was weird that people took things actually so seriously when it's all just sort of a joke. I think in life, things are very serious. And on the other hand, things are also a big joke. On one hand, think life is very serious and your actions have very serious consequences. And on the other hand, it's all just a big silly game that we get to play and we're gonna die anyway. So. If you're walking around perhaps in like a serious mindset, I think it's, it's healthy to have in the back of your mind that it's all just a game, that's all just a big joke. Or if you're walking around in like a playful mindset, have in the back of your mind that things are very serious as well. That way you've got sort of like a nice balance of the two extremes. Incorporating playfulness into your teaching can be extremely effective. I suggest you sort of play around with it a little bit, see what works for you, see what you like. And I hope you guys have gained some sort of value from this video. I will see you guys next time.